Hey everyone, this is Eli from TechCheckIt.com here with an After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, hey bro, clone, go away, I'm making a video. Suck it. <laughs> LOL, that's what we're learning today, guys, how to clone. And it's really hot out here, so I'm going to make this quick. But this is the guy right here that submitted this question, and um, yeah, basically he was just asking how to do clones in Sony Vegas, but it's way better to do clones in After Effects, but I'll show you both ways anyway. And um, yeah, here's some tips that will help you get through the first steps of, you know, setting up your camera and everything, because if you don't do it right, then the clones don't turn out very good. So, here you go. The first rule is keep the camera on the tripod at all times because you need every shot to be identical for this effect to work. This tripod right here worked out great and I recommend it to anyone. The second rule is to plan out your shots as in to know where your characters are going to be at because you don't want to overlap them and make your shot look retarded. Which brings me to the next rule. Noobs don't try depth shots as in characters interacting with each other because you're not at that point yet, and I will teach you in the future how to do it, but for right now, it's just way too in-depth, and it'll take too long to explain. So, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so here's the video you guys just saw. Everything. And um, to conserve time, basically what I'm going to do this tutorial is show you in both After Effects and Sony Vegas just this first part. Because once you get this first part, it's basic all the way through. You can just use the same concept for the little part and for the humping part. So, um, yeah, I don't know if me and Brandon are going to put this footage up for you guys to download or not on our website because we're still working on it. We've gotten a ton of clients and it's just been, uh, it's been great. You know, we've been making some money, but we haven't had time to work on our own site. But, in the future this will be up maybe soon maybe not just don't kill us uh, maybe if you guys all say in the comments something to Brandon he'll do it so <laughs> okay so go up to file go new and we're just gonna do a regular um, custom little thing you guys can do whatever you want whatever footage you guys use I'm gonna stick with the biggest it can go because uh, to, to check it doesn't play around okay so now next is to import your footage and as I showed you guys before I don't really have to go over all this basic stuff hopefully again but uh, you can just click and drag into there so I'm just gonna drag this baby in here just like that let go in the timeline and voila the first whole thing is in and what you'll notice is I'm basically talking to myself here After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial now clone Go away, I'm making a video. <laughs> yeah, very weird. I felt very awkward in front of my neighbor, <laughs> neighbors, my neighbors, my neighbors next door were like outside. So it was very weird, but it's okay because I love you guys. So the next thing is to do, <laughs> I cannot talk. The next thing to do is to find the footage that corresponds with that footage. I took a lot of shots because it took me a while. Brandon was, uh, doing something else so I didn't really have help here but uh, don't blame him he's just a boy <laughs> but this is the guy so you find right the footage here, and you submitted this okay so yeah that's where I walk up so I already know this is the area Vegas where I turn tutorial. around now okay so there's my footsteps and then here's where I start talking as a clone hey bro clone okay so uh, we're gonna do this. I, I put this closer to where I say clone, blah 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 blah, because it means more interaction. It looks like I spent more time on it. It's hiding my little flaws of being a single man with, you know, a big load on his shoulders. So, let's see. Video. I walk off. <laughs> oh, the well. steps. Okay, so right about there. We're gonna shorten it again cut that off and do that okay so let's just see with it halfway down just click the top of it and you drag it to the middle and you'll you'll be able to see it effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial now hey bro clone 
Go away, I'm making a video. <laughs> okay, that looks really good. So, now, in order to... How this effect works is, you have the same background plate and everything lined up perfectly. You see the chair doesn't move. Nothing moves except for the characters and maybe some other plants and stuff. But that's why we mask around that stuff. So, the big trick is masking. That's basically what you guys wanted to learn. So, oh, I did that really quick. I'm just not used to really teaching tutorials. Okay, so zoom in using the scroll on your, uh, on your mouse. And then you go up to this little box up here. You see that? Event pan slash crop. Click it and it will bring up this menu. Now, <clears throat> next thing you're going to do is go down and click this mask enable button and it will bring up the mask properties and stuff. So you're going to click on this top pen, not the pen with the little minus sign because that's basically how you delete some of the points. And then I know that the clone walks in and how I set it up was I would step right in front of here because I knew there was no way I was going to interact with my person. So, I'm just going to click up here, just go straight down, I'll clean it up, and I'll make a couple points, so I have room to clean it up. Go all the way around, and then complete it. Boom. Okay, so, now before I go any further, I'm just going to show you guys how crappy this looks right now. See that? <laughs> There's a big line right there. Now, that does not look professional at all. So, what you need to do, is you need to go over to this little thingy and you need to go to the oh you don't have to click that you can keep it on that you go to the feather type and you go both then you do a nice you know let's do about a 10 pixel feather that should be good yes and as you can see over here it got rid of that ugly little line okay so now we need to check and see <laughs> You see this tutorial. No. Now the big thing here is it may not be something big to you guys, but if I go right there to right there, you'll see that this whole area is brighter right now, and then when the clip overrides, it gets a lot darker. And that's because it was kind of an overcast day. It's monsoon season in Arizona. So but there's some simple corrections. As long as you guys don't film one part one day and then come back the next day you guys should be okay because you can cover it with like uh, brightness and contrasting usually I just keep an eye out for it I was just being stupid but it's a, it's a very easy way to fix it so um, let's see what's some there's a pretty good shot right there where I can kinda see both of them and we're just gonna move it up a little bit the brightness that's too bright I'm gonna put it at let's put it at two yep and then that should make it a lot better not perfect but better than what you can expect just from Sony Vegas okay so boom you have it and let's watch it then After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial now hey bro clone go away I'm making a video <laughs> lol well, that's what we're that. learning today there you guys go. Very easy Sony Vegas masking clone mother poop poop and you guys got it. So, good stuff. Now let's move on to After Effects. All right. So, in the middle of recording the tutorial, uh my computer went weird and now it's in a weird color scheme. But whatever. So we're going to continue. Go over to the project file, or the project can't blank canvas. Oh my goodness, can't talk. The project blank canvas area. Double click in there. Then go find the footage that you want to uh, make into the awesomeness. I'm just going to hold control. And that would be holding command or hold, yeah, holding command on a Mac. And I just clicked both of them. Hit open. Hit OK hit OK again and grab the footage drag and drop it into the like composition area thing and um, I'm gonna name this uh, let's name it Eli ok 
Okay. Now the second one. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. I don't know why I named it Eli. That's such a weird name, right? I don't even know. The second one I'm going to name Clo Cloby Clone. Okay. Make sure clones on top. And then we're going to do some basic editing. I know halfway through. Now normally guys just edit it in Sony Vegas then render out the footage because you're going to want it in After Effects. It's so much better in After Effects. But I was uh I'm in a rush. I don't want to keep you guys waiting that much. So cut down the footage to where you think it would be. We can make the revisions later. And I'm actually going to cut down the composition a bit so render time is a lot less. Trim comp to work area. Okay, so let's see where it's at. Rendering, rendering, rendering. Blah 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 blah. Wow, well, I'm not Perfect. Okay, I'm not even close to where I start walking in. Where is it? Come on. Oh. Okay, I guess I was. It was just uh lagging. This beast computer is lagging, are you kidding me? Come on. Alright, so we're gonna cut it right about there. Alright, so when do I talk? I say clone. It's when I walk up, so we'll put it right about there. Okay, this is really bad timing. I'm very sorry for that, guys, but it's whatever. After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, clone. Go hey, away, bro. I'm making a video. Wow, that was way late. Put that a little bit more forward. After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, hey, bro. Clone. Go away, I'm making a After Effects. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Just had to kind of play with it there. Um, okay, so next thing to do is have the clone layer selected, and uh, let's have it fade in real quick. Let's let's put this a little bit bigger, and we'll hit T with the clone layer selected, and then we'll go down to zero percent. Hit this wow one okay, and then hit the little stopwatch to create a keyframe. Now don't tell me you guys forgot how to create a keyframe, or else I'm gonna be mad. That was my last tutorial. Come on, guys, You're killing me. Okay, so boom, fades in, I walk in, hey bro, oh, suck it, walk away. Okay, and we'll have it go off right about there, create another keyframe, maybe move it a little bit further over, then have it fade to zero, boom, beautiful, and I'm recording, right, I'm not, I'm not crazy, okay, I am recording, sweet, and hopefully that's not in the way, okay. So boom. And then it fades back into that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is create the mask. What you're going to do is go up to the pen tool, click it, and you're going to create a couple points, make sure it's not going into my shoulder. Boom. Very basic mask. Once again, go back to the pointer tool thingy. And boom. Now you have both of them on the same thing. Now what you're going to notice is, you can go to this little button right here, the toggle mask, and you can make it go off. And you can see the same thing as Sony Vegas, very ugly. But while we have it here, let's zoom in, and we'll go to the color corrections. You go effect, color correction, and let's go to brightness and contrast. And we'll try to mess around with it a little bit to get it to match up to the other layer, shall we? All right, all right, there's looking kind of good. Let's go five. No, 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 no. Six. Meh. Meh. Eh. How about we just do eleven, and then we will bring down the. No, no, no. Bring up the contrast a bit. Just a bit, not too much. Come on. Yeah, right about there. Okay, I don't really like that. We'll put the contrast back down to zero. <laughs> and maybe a little bit less. Because those clouds up there, man. 
This is why you gotta watch your surroundings. Remember those rules. Alright, guys? <laughs> so now, you're gonna go to the clone layer. You're gonna go to masks. You're gonna go to mask one. You're gonna select the feather. And then you're gonna put the feather way up in After Effects. It's weird, but just just trust me here, alright? Been doing this for a while. Okay, so we'll hit zero and see how that fades in. Wow, pretty flawless. That's why. I love After Effects. After, After Effects, effects slash sexy. Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, hey bro, clone, go away. I'm making a video. Suck it. <laughs> After Effects. Wow. I words cannot describe how beautiful that was. <laughs> but I, th I I hope you guys share my love for After Effects. I mean, you guys are watching this, but. I mean, I just, I get a little chubby every time I, I edit on here because it's just awesome. So, yeah, that's basically it, you know. After Effects, for some reason, you can do a lot more, you know. Like, for some reason, the color correction on After Effects is so much better. I like the interface better for these types of effects. That's why I prefer it. Now, if you guys like the Sony Vegas way, it's totally up to you. It's not like I'm going to go to your house and fondle something and I don't know steal your computer well, maybe I will but yeah just don't be afraid <laughs> so yeah guys um thank you guys so much for the loving and for all the support you guys show us cuz me and Brandon we do work kinda hard on everything for you guys and it, it, it's worth it when you guys leave comments and you guys you know help us out by liking it and stuff I mean, it makes us feel loved so Thank you guys, you guys are awesome, and um, yeah, sorry for my bad acting, and I will see you guys next, I guess, Friday. I made this on Friday, I don't know if it's going up on Friday or not, hopefully it will, and me and Brandon are going to go film a Minecraft video, so, see you guys later, peace. After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, hey bro, clone, go away, I'm making a video. <laughs> LOL. That's what we're learning today, guys. How to with an After Effects slash Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, hey bro, clone, go away. I'm making a video. Suck. <laughs> LOL. That's what we're learning today, guys.